right guys I'm gonna teach you how to create animated avatars and bear with me please I'm kind of under the weather right now so I'm not really feel, I don't really sound very good anyways first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need GIMP this program is gonna be used for making the avatar now normally like I said last time on my videos I use paint.net but that's just for editing the image in this case you're gonna have to use an animated program you'll see Anyways, you're also going to need Paint.net, and you're going to need a program called GIF Splitter. Now, this program is just going to split the image after you make the animation, so you can put it on the, on Paint.net, and you want to upload it to Image Shack. But anyways, let's get to this site. You're going to want to go to Pokemon's Poke Stadium and type in the Pokemon you want. Well, for me, I'm just going to type in regular Pokemon I always use. Search and you're going to take the animated sprite and you just save it to wherever you're going to put it. For me, I already have it on the desktop over here. So, what I'm going to do now is open it in GIMP. Now when you open it, you'll notice that it kind of looks odd. That's because all the frames are on top of each other. So don't worry about that for right now. What you want to do now is you want to take the first tool, which is the recti rectangle select tool, and crop it to 30 by 30. Then you want to go to image, crop to selection, and you'll have that. You can also test the image to make sure there's like no issues with it. Which you want to go to filters, animation, and playback. Anyways, see these frames here? If you have like blank ones or Every once in a while, there'll be a couple messed up ones like this. You want to remove those. After you do that, save it as a GIF file. And make sure to save it as an animation. Do not merge visible layers. If you do that, then it won't come out as a GIF at all. Then once you export, leave this alone, just, ma just make sure it says I don't care here, and then save. Now you're done with GIMP basically. Okay, now you want to use the, G the GIF splitter. Split the image you just made. Make sure to select autofill and create output directory so it'll make a folder for you. And then split. You'll have about, depending on what image you use, you're going to have a lot of frames. So you'll have basically every frame in that GIF. Now, what you want to do is since this image had 107, 100, 108, I'm sorry, you want to make sure you can fit enough on there. So what you want to do is, for me, I just did 30, because it's going to be 30 per image for Zat, 30 times 108, which would be 3240. On paint.net, what you want to do is create a new image. You want to do this first, because it's going to be a pain in the ass to do it later. 3240 by 30. You can leave this alone for now. And then what you want to do is open up the folder for the GIF images that you just had. 
So basically you just highlight them all. They'll all be in order unless you highlight them incorrectly or something. And this part probably will take a while. This is going to be the hard part. PC will probably move a lot faster than mine. Mine's hella old, so bear with me here. Basically what you want to do, start at the very beginning, here's what I recommend doing. Highlight the whole image, cut, until I find a better way, this is the only way that's that will come out the best on Zat. Close this, you don't have to save, and just paste it on there. And just continue to redo it, and make sure not to mess up. basically like that. Since I already did that, I'll show you what I came out with. Pretty much it's going to come out like this. Completely done. Which will take about 15 to 30 minutes depending on how you do it. And then you pretty much edit and add whatever you want to do there from here like for example this is mine at the end after adding a background if you want to add backgrounds just just highlight the background go to render clouds render something make sure to make it small so it can actually be visible and then Is that there it is if you have any questions let me know comment rate and subscribe also